Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to my gaming channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Epic Game Launcher on Linux. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I do want to mention that I did do the Lutris installer on my previous video. I am using a new operating system right now. Well, not new, but this is KDE, so it's something different, but it's still Ubuntu based and the installation is still the same. So after you get the Lutris installer installed, we're going to have to head over to Lutris and install the Epic Game Launcher. So first thing you want to do is actually search for Epic Games or Epic Game and you'll pop up with this thing. So once you do that, click install and I'm going to install the latest and hit install and let it do its thing. It's going to download Lutris. It's going to download the wine version that it needs, everything it needs to get it up and running. So I'm going to give this a second and let this run while this is happening. I'm going to actually head over to the Epic Game Store and download the Epic Game Launcher. So I'm going to download this and hit save and download the launcher while I'm waiting for this. It's not going to install the launcher. This only does the settings for it. And once this is done, you're going to see it pop up with all the information and everything. All right, once this is all done, you can actually hit launch, but nothing will happen because it's gonna say no file provided. That's because Epic actually never installed. This was only a container to have all the settings working for it. So I'm gonna pop in, like I said, I downloaded this already, and I'm gonna open up terminal to install Epic Game Launcher. But there's a little caveats about this. So I'm gonna go over to CD and download, change my directory over to download. You're gonna see that I have Epic Game Launcher and I have an older version, but I also have the newer version, which is the 18, right? But first we need to do is set up a wine prefix. So when we were installing this, the Epic Game Launcher, it'll actually ask you where to install it. And if I was to open the folder, it'll give me the location. It's home, games, and Epic Game Store. And you see that there's a C drive. Now you could either copy this location, control C, or you could type it out yourself. What I did was wine prefix equals and then i'll paste it Control shift z or middle mouse button and then you type in wine and then msi because this is an msi installer right over here so msi exec dash i to install and then epic installer and i'm going to use the version 18 the latest one that i just downloaded and hit enter now it's actually going to install into that game folder that we just copied the home games epic game store folder itself so now once this is done, it's going to pop up with the installer. It's not going to complete. That's the thing. It's just going to install all the files that it needs. And once it gets to a part where it needs to run, you're going to see it crash, which is normal. Here we go. This is uh, where it crashes, the self update part. We dismiss this. It's going to kick you back out of the prompt, which we don't need anymore. We're going to head back over to our Lutris. Now, first thing we need to do is actually change a setting because if we have a uh, DXVK enabled or this one Vulkan, it's actually not gonna run. So we have to turn that off, hit save, and then we're gonna hit play. Now it doesn't have that uh, menu saying like, hey, look, the file is not provided. It actually will run this program. Let me minimize that, minimize Lutris, and here we go. It's gonna go through the update, verify everything, and it's gonna allow you to log in right here. And I'm just gonna log right in, and I'll show you some things. All right, now that we're all logged in and everything, um, I'm actually able to go to the library. And these are a lot of the free games that came out. I don't really buy anything from Epic Game Store. Maybe one or two games that I've seen that they have. But uh, you could just download the game and play it off here. But some games might require a little bit more attention, like the use of Lutris to get to get certain things to work. But in the meantime, I've actually just been playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install it. Literally just hit the install button it's going to figure out wherever the folder is um, whatever you want to do you could not create the shortcut but i'm just going to let this go hit install uh, if you want to check out how it's working just head over to oops just head over to downloads and you can see it's do its thing and that's it i have the game installed i'm going to hit launch here we have a roller coaster tycoon 3 and it works perfectly fine the only option that i would actually change because i like it in uh, not full screen and I'll just change this down to a smaller resolution so I could play it, keep that, and I could 
keep my menus up. I could have everything still being watched and that's it. Just to get games working, it wasn't too hard. My Epic Game Launcher is working. Everything downloaded correctly. The game I want to play is working. So there we have it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys see me on my main channel or if not, my links will be down in the description below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.